Do I have a nap like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ready. Hi, I'm Mr Norman and I am the maths lead at Kings Road Primary School. Uh, so my, my role at school is to make sure that maths is taught um, really, really well around school, to make sure that pupils have the best access to the curriculum, to make sure that the resources that we have support learning and to make sure that your children have a great maths learning experience whilst they're at our school. In terms of um, within maths, maths should be taught and is taught every single day in your classes all the way from nursery up until uh, year six and starting from reception we have a scheme of learning that we have which is called white rose and this is a mastery style of learning which means that the um, the mass learning that your children are doing builds on top of each other every year so whatever they learn in reception is then followed through into year one and it's just small build blocks so it's a scheme of work a scheme of learning which develops their learning, within maths develops their understanding of maths. Within maths, we have um, calculation uh, side of maths, the arithmetic side of maths, so that is addition, subtraction, and multiplication, division, and all the things that come around that. And also then we have the other part of maths, which is your shape, space, and measure, which are things like measuring how long something is, using weights, maybe looking at patterns, maybe looking at different 3D shapes and 2D shapes and finding their properties. And that is the other side of maths. We have some different things to celebrate maths at our school and to promote maths at our school. So one thing that you probably would have heard of before is the rule of reasoning. And the rule of reasoning is something that we do once a fortnight and it's, uh, it's done in our celebration assembly. So a teacher, a teacher from each class chooses a child who they've recognised has done um, something spectacular within maths and has been able to explain how they've solved the problem or explain what they've done or what methods they used or some type of really good reasoning skill. And this is recognised every two weeks and like I said, a child gets a ruler. Also what we have, we have um, every, every year we have different celebrations. We have sometimes times table rock star competitions we have a number day at school where children can come in with different numbers on their clothes and this all just promotes maths and hopefully uh, gives it a gives it a good makes it a good part of our school also we have the times table rock stars so your children should be getting maths homework on a regular basis this could be in different forms so it could be on worksheets or looking at problems but also it could be on times table rock stars which is an online system uh, which hopefully pupils from year two to year six have a login to get into it. If you don't have a login and speak to your teacher, to your class, to your child's class teacher and I can sort that out for you. So this system will help your child to practice their times tables that they may have been learning and it's just about that repetition, constantly practicing the different times tables that they um, have been learning in that time period. And it's really good, it's a really good tool to use to improve your times table knowledge. This year is the first year that there are going to be a times table test, and this is for pupils who are in year four, which is going to be around June time, that's when the test will be. And this is a test that's online on a computer where your child will have a set number of questions which they need to answer in in a time period. So again, particularly for students in year four, but for all, all pupils, it's really imperative, really important that your child is regularly practicing their times tables because that is the foundation for a lot of a lot of maths. Also, obviously, we have the uh, have the national assessments of SATs for year two and year six where your uh, arithmetic and reasoning skills are tested. So we're getting ready for those at the moment and making sure that your pupils are prepared for those exams. And a couple of uh, a couple of things that are coming up within maths that are going to improve maths even more. So we've got a project called the Power of 10 that I'm really looking forward to. So it's where we're going to try and, um, you're gonna have 10 words in each year group, which we feel are the most important mathematical vocabulary words um, and these words are going to be referred to all the time. We're just hoping by referring to these words all the time, by talking about these words, by understanding these words, that your pupils will then be able to access more problems. Your children will be able to access more problems 
Also, we have got a math specialist coming in in a couple of weeks who's going to be working with all the teachers doing a, a twilight session and we're going to start looking at how we can improve our approach to calculation at King's Road as well. So there's so many things going on, it's really exciting. Like I said, maths is such an amazing subject. The kids at school love maths, which is a really, really positive thing. And um, I'm glad, I'm glad about that. All right, thank you for your time. Cheers.